Over there in the background you can see a pulp and paper mill. This one is the Kinlay's Pulp and Paper Mill here in Tokoroa, Central North Island, New Zealand. We are operating our worm farm in close proximity of the, of the source of the fibre, of the waste material, and we try not to use uh, much of transport capacity to keep the cost low and to produce it on site. I will take you now to one of the ponds where the fibre is actually collected and from where we are picking it up when the whole process will begin. So now we are inside in one of the two sedimentation ponds of the pulp mill. Sedimentation pond means that the fibre, the sediment in the wastewater is pumped into and it's dewatered naturally through gravity. The operators here have already started to empty one of these ponds and the fibre is now taken to the worm farm. As you can see there's still some sitting in the far back and all this area around here has been emptied. And in the last month it was probably about six to eight thousand tonnes we have received at the worm farm to be mixed with other waste. I want to show you the fibre in a close-up. So this fibre is collected here in the sedimentation pond. I mean, this is the lost fibre from making premium paper and cardboard. When producing cardboard, the wood chips from pine trees and eucalyptus trees here grown in plantation forests not a natural forest. They are cooked and only the fibre, the hemicellulose, is used for paper making. This is paper we use for wrapping up our food, so it's absolutely clean. And so is, so is the fibre. No ink, no glues, and the concentration of potential contaminants like heavy metals is much lower than in any soil in the region. So the fibre has been organic certified for organic worm farm. We get a good moisture holding capacity for the worms, so the water is slipping out of it. This is what worms require. It looks like soaked cardboard and if you look closely you can see each individual fiber. In the past this fiber has been landfilled. Occasionally some of this fiber can be applied straight onto farmland or in forest land, but you need to add a lot of fertilizer with it, nutrients. And can you imagine 40,000 ton of this, which equals 4,600 trucks of this fiber has been landfilled in the past. So all this volume now is taken to the worm farm. So the system we were looking at is when we can feed, can we actually feed this to compost worms? So natural technology to turn it into a valuable soil conditioner.